Like I was in a steel mill a couple of weeks ago doing some work. Like I'm big on culture, I'm big on environment, right? Like I believe an environment would change an individual before an individual changes an environment. And I walked into there and I said, man, what's the culture here? Like how do we get down? How do we rock, man? And the guy looked at me, he said, man, we come in, we make a little steel, we make a little money and we go back home. And he looked at me and he said, is that a problem? I said, no, sir, it isn't. I can't tell you how to do what you do. How you do it? You're the, you're the expert at that. I said, but I do got one slight thing. I said, we got two gentlemen in the same building that's lost their lives because we come in, we make a little steel, we make a little money, and we go back home. And so the first time an individual got an opportunity to take a shortcut, they took it, and a 15,000-pound nail fell out of the ceiling, and it split a guy in half. And so now a son doesn't have a father because we come in, we make a little steel, we make a little money, and we go back home. Now a wife doesn't have a husband because we come in, we make a little steel, and we make a little money, and we go back home. So yeah, actually, I do got a problem with it. And I felt like that was my life with the game of football. I just got up every day, went through drills, and man, I'm going to make it to the NFL. That's be, that'll be it. No value, no substance, nothing. Like I was efficient, but not effective. I did things right, but I never did the right thing. Efficient, not effective. Hollow, jelly bean, hard on the outside, soft on the inside, don't possess nothing. There's a quote that says, when do a person start to really live? When a person has encountered death, and I had encountered death and I had survived it, and I guarantee you, it was literally as if somebody pulled the shades up on my life and they said, now you see life for what it's really worth. You thought it was about the NFL, now you really see life for what it's really worth. Like I thought I was driven when I played sports, but man, every day I get up that drive different. Like that dedication level, different. that commitment level is different. Like at the end of the day, we all in the same business. That's the people's business. Like every single day I get up to impact life. That is why I go at life with the drive and dedication and the commitment level that I do because if somebody can look at me, it was kind of like when I was a kid and I would stare at my grandmother after we didn't eat the night before and her ritual and her routine never changed. She still got up and she still prayed at the same time. She still broke out the Bible at the same time. She still said to me every, t- every single day I walked out of the house and glorious, learn from the mistakes of other people. You can't make them all yourself. Like she never changed. And I said, I want that. I don't know what that is, but I want to possess that when I miss a meal and I still can be steadfast and I still can get up and go through my routine. And what I was saying was, in life, I want to possess that. That when adversity, opposition, and the thing that should have crushed me, I step back, I embrace it and say, life, that's all you got? This was your best shot? It's over with. It's kind of like in a match when you throw that best shot and he stepped back and he tasted that blood and he said, that was it. You in trouble. 